the sacrifice to be here today because you care about your future. And I care about your future, and the speakers here today care about your future. So you should be proud of yourself because I'm proud of you as well. And I too was sitting in the seat that you're sitting not too long ago, a couple semesters ago, concerned about what I'm going to do once I graduate here at FIU. And I had a problem with it. And I'm going to share with you this problem I haven't shared with a lot of people. Can I confide in you? Is that fine? Yes? Yes, okay. I had four job offers, and I didn't know which one to pick. <laughs> Who wants that kind of problem? Me. Raise your hand. And you do it. <laughs> I said, that's the best kind of problem to have. And I'm going to teach you today that it, you, you made the smart, the smart move by being part of the union. And you are part. I, I want you to understand this. Wrap your mind around this. You are part of the number one American Marketing Association chapter in the entire world. You beat out universities, colleges, from all over this country, from the West Coast to the East Coast. You're part of it. You're, you're part of history for FIU. This is only one of the few times that we've been selected as a number one platinum chapter. And you're part of that. And that's gonna be that's gonna mean so much to you as you start your career. But you gotta take advantage of it just like you are today. Don't this is one day, but continue, continue making connections, continuing taking advantage of all the resources because me sitting with my four offers, I did not have more resources than you have right now. You have all the resources available. FIU, AMA, amazing professors here at FIU. So just enjoy the ride, but also work at it. It takes a lot of work to make it happen. So let me tell you a little bit back to my story. Four job offers, right? From great companies, some Fortune 500 companies, great roles, uh, all types of different salary. And I'm gonna tell you what I chose. So behind no door number four was media with, and that's why I'm here to I'm show you a little more about media with. This is me in the New York office. Uh, we have an office right over, uh, overlooking Wall Street, so it's amazing. They're part part of uh, part of the financial district. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share with you uh, why I chose media with, and there's a chart that I saw that that really kind of shaped the direction that I was heading. And it was a question that Forrester, Forrester does a lot of research in the marketing field, and they asked some of their top marketers in the entire country, they asked, what, in the next years, what do you see marketing's effectiveness will increase, say the same for each of the following. So they asked them different channels of marketing. They asked these experts, what do you think is gonna become more effective as time goes by? And these are the answers. And you saw some of the presentations, JC Penney included it, uh, our last presentation included it, social media, is changing the game for marketers mainly. Then you have online video, which is important. People want to interact, they want to see those videos online. You have SEO. So as, as a company, how do I get to rank number one? If someone wants to go to a college of business, how do I make sure as FIU's marketing director that FIU's the number one choice that shows up on Google or Bing or Yahoo? Mobile marketing. Who has, if you got a smartphone, pull it out. Just want to see an iPhone, Android, the majority of class, right? We don't go anywhere without this phone. If we leave it at home, our day is lost, right? <laughs> we can't, some people, we don't even know their number by heart, right? Unless we have the phone handy. So it's changing, and you get your text messages, you're able to log online, so mobile devices are changing the way that marketers put together campaigns for not just Fortune 500 companies, but also for small businesses, like you heard previously. Email marketing, and look, what, look at what's dying. I mean, this is, Repetitive, but I want to drill it in your head so you know where where marketing's headed. Yellow pages. When was the last time someone picked up a yellow pages? I, I, I can't think of the last time I did that. Newspapers, radio. Now we have the Amazon, uh, the Fire, right? The Kindle. We have the iPad. So that's changing the way that uh, people like us and people in the community consume media and consume and the way we're able to market. It. So next slide, please. So, and, and then I didn't need charts to tell me this, right? Because I know this stuff. I experience it every day. Is there a day that goes by that you don't do a search on Google? What about logging to your Facebook? Who logged into Facebook today? Raise your hand. Right. So I'm experiencing this. I don't need these numbers to tell me this and these researchers, but we experience it on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I started researching, right? Because I have all these different offers. And I, my heart is in online marketing, but I just want to—I want to know more about it. So I look at the job trends, and I see while the economy, a lot of jobs are are being eliminated, people are getting laid off. Guess what's growing? 
online marketing is growing. More and more positions in online marketing are being created every day faster, and, and that's where uh, companies are spending money. So that then I saw, uh, what I saw as strategically, I saw an opportunity for me. Because most of us grew up with these technologies, with these platforms, so why can't I compete against people that have been in the market and marketing field for 10, 20 years? I can compete against them now because I have the same resources and I have that same experience with these different platforms. And then I took a look at the salaries and I like what I saw because I want to get paid, right? Who doesn't want to make a lot of money or, or at least be well off, right? right? I'm sure you do, right? So I looked at the salaries and I saw not only was there growth, but also the salaries look great, right? Whether it's online marketing, whether it's search engine optimization, social media, these jobs that were being created were also being paid handsomely. So I like, I like those things. So that's why I chose uh, MediaWiz. And a lot of the things that are going on in social media, we, we learn it from experience because we do it, we, we live it, right? But very, very rarely, and, and we're trying to change that here at FIU, we teach it in the classroom. Because the way that you market in the past is not the way that you market today. It's changed, and we need to adapt, we need to learn all these different strategies, all these different tools that are coming out, the different trends. So in order to do that, you have to you have the resources. I have the resources. You could go online, you could sign up for uh, different uh, workshops where you could learn this, these tools, because in order to make it in your career, it takes two things. And a lot of students that graduate, I see them fail because they don't have these two things. Number one, you need, you need experience. And number two, you need connections. And by being part of AMA, you're getting both, right? You're getting experience because here at AMA, you get a chance to put your marketing skills to the, to the use, right? You get to work on the Chevrolet project. You get to go to conference, prepare presentations. You get to experience and really know if marketing is your thing. And you gain that. And you can use those examples when you do an interview with JCPenney or whatever company you, you go up. You don't, you'll, you don't always need work experience. It helps. But the experience you get here is valuable. What about internships, right? How many have done an internship already in the marketing field? OK, great. That's awesome. Next time I come, I want to see everyone raise their hand if they're in the process of doing an internship. Because the last thing I want to see is you graduate from FIU, you go get a job in marketing, <laughs> luckily you'll find a job, and then you hate it, and you don't want to do it anymore. Now you got to go back to school to maybe become an architect, because that's, that's what you want to do. So internships help you actually get that experience, so you know this is where my passion is, this is, where, this is what I love to do, because when you apply your passion, guess what, the money will follow. And you're gonna, you're gonna love going to work. It's, gonna, it's like adding five days to your week and you love what you do. So that's, that's why you want to make sure you take part in these AMA activities, all the opportunities that you have, take part of them, and get internships, and be, be diverse internships. Try retail, maybe you want to do marketing consulting, social media, maybe event marketing, or event planning. So these are all the, you know, get that experience. And then make the connections, right? Talk to each other, you guys are sitting with CMOs, CEOs, marketing managers, social media consultants, you guys are the future of marketing. Network with each other, but also reach out to the community. FIU has a great business alumni group, and they do all types of events where you can network with people that are already established in their career, that you can learn from, that, you could, that they could help you, and that you could help them. So take advantage of those opportunities.